Hey there, Ulti Zeta here, and welcome back to the finale of Pokemon Blue. In the last episode, we took down all four members of the Elite Four. Now only one trainer stands in our way to being the best one in the entire region of Kanto. At least in this universe of Kanto, because I assure you I would never be the best trainer in anything, ever, if you counted everyone else in the entire world. Anyways. Hey! I was looking forward to seeing you, Ulti. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on Pokedex, I looked all over for powerful Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type. And now, I'm the Pokemon League Champion! Ulti, do you know what that means? I'll tell you. I am the most powerful trainer in the world. Tor wants to fight. I'll bring him one. Zip zap. Zap. Critical hit, nice. <laughs> and I grew a level two to boot. Nice. Got to use Alakazam. This is the one thing that I've brought step five on for. I honestly don't even know if it's gonna help. But I guess it can't be any... any bad. Cause this Alakazam gave me- it gave me problems earlier. Now my only real hope is the thing. My only real hope is that he, he does the typical Alakazam thing and like does recover or something. But in some ways I kinda doubt that the AI would be that bad. Let's see! Use Reflect. Okay. Gained armor. Oh god, that's probably why, what Reflect has done. I'm gonna try- ooh, okay, I'm dead. Yep. Well, if I fail, ultimately, that's a good thing to keep in mind that he's going to try and do that in the first try- in the first move. Oh, at least I did a little bit of damage. Better than nothing. Okay, you know, I don't know, you, not, you might be the best bet here. I already used Reflect, you dungus. Okay, that's okay. You already used Reflect, you dungus! Okay, maybe the AI can be that bad. Probably gonna heal up. Okay, no, you're gonna use Psychic. Well, if you never survives this, you're dead. And you never probably will. Yes. Okay! The one Pokemon that was really worrying me died. We're good. Step 5 failed. So I guess all of you haters were right. Guilty! Now's your time to shine. Surf this Rhydon to death. Fun fact, Rhydon was the very first Pokemon ever created. So that's a neat thing. Not gonna help him though, because he's dead. About to use Arcanine. I'm not gonna change Pokemon. Yelty! Oop, takedown. The ulti might actually die. This is the case. Uh, uh, uh. Ember. Can you just take down again? I would have died. Dumb Arcanine. All right. Gruel, nice. Good job, Yulti. We're about to use Executor. Hylas. I know you've been waiting a long time to use these moves. As a Charizard, even. Fire Blast. God fucking... Hi, Les! This was your chance! You ruined all the- you ruined the moment by missing! <laughs> there we go. Somehow it's not- it's just not the same now. Ooh. Oh! Fuck you. God damn it, Hylas! No! This was your chance! This is the one this is the one Pokemon I can really use you for here. And you're just screwing up. This executor is gonna kill you. I 
I'm, I'm, I refuse. I, I refuse to let this happen. Hylas, you need to succeed. I, I, I need you to succeed. Please, just succeed for me. Get a critical hit. Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him. Damn it. Stop doing this to me! Screw you. No sleep. No sleep, no damage. <sighs> this probably won't kill him. Oh no, it did. Alright, Hylas. You served your part. <sighs> that could've gone better. Blastoise. Well, we know what to do with blast voices. We bring them pain. Oh my god! Well... What a way to end it, with quick attack, of all things. Ulti defeated Tor! No, that can't be! You beat my best! After all that work to become League Champ? My reign is over already? It's not fair! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon! Darn it, you're the new Pokémon League Champion. Although I don't like to admit it. Ulti! So, you won! Congratulations! You're the new Pokémon Elite Champion! You've grown up so much since you first left with Charmander! Ulti, you have come of age! Tor, I'm disappointed! I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four, but when I got here, you had already lost! Tor, do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten to treat your Pokémon with trust and love! Without them, you will never become a champ again! Ulti, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing! The bond you share with your Pokémon is marvelous! Ulti, come with me! We beat the game, guys. I beat the game, I mean. Maybe you- maybe if you were playing along, you beat the game too. I don't know. Ahem! Congratulations, Ulti! The floor- this floor is the Hall of- Pokémon Hall of Fame. Pokémon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokémon are also recorded in the Hall of Fame. Ulti, you have endeavored hard to become the new League champion. Congratulations, Ulti. You and your Pokémon are Hall of Famers. Zipzop! The Zapper! Hylas! Um... The Under-Respected, I guess. Zydo! Uh, what would he be? The teleporter. Sure, I use him for teleporting most of all. Yolti! The revived. Because I guess I revived. I don't know. Why are you giving them nicknames? I don't know. Unira, the dragon killer. And step five, the useless one. He got in the Hall of Fame after all. Ulti, playtime 21 hours. Pokedex rating? You still need more Pokemon. Try to catch other species. You can't tell me what you do. We beat the game. Pokemon Blue version staff. Satoshi Tajiri. T okay, I'm not gonna bother trying to read any of these. They go by pretty fast anyway. <sighs> well! That's my Pokémon adventure entirely wrapped up. That's my 50th Let's Play wrapped up. I've done 50 of these things, guys, now. Hell, technically 53, what with Ink, and Twilight Princess, and Brawl going out, like... Although no, only Ink ever- f only Ink had finished by the time that- Actually, no. Brawl and Ink had finished by the time that this goes out. So that's cool. But this one- this one was my 50th. I beat- I finally beat the very first game that I ever played. The very first single player game that I ever played by myself. I finally beat it for the first time now. And now I've beaten every single generation. 
Well, I mean, I had already done that before, but... Because I, I have beaten Fire Red, so I mean, I have beaten Gen 1 before. But, I don't know, now now it feels like I've done it for for real, I guess, because... I guess because it was kind of, like, in... Like, I was describing how, in one of my episodes, how, like, I've been playing through all the other Pokemon games, so now this, is just, this just kind of feels like a nice fitting conclusion, I guess. Special thanks to Toru Iwata. Well, this was a ride. I was... This was really fun. I'm... I, I, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I feel like it was really enjoyable for me. Like, I don't know. Yes, it was Pokemon. And the Pokemon cars were fun, really fun to draw. And Like, you can see how my art style evolves, even. Like, I switched from using Inkscape to Clip Studio Paint half, halfway through the Let's Play. And, like, the later drawings, I think, came out way nicer looking. And that was just, it was cool and exciting, like, ah. But there we go. Pokemon Blue version. This was a short episode, but I think it came out well. So, there are going to be a couple, couple short bonus episodes for this Let's Play. But for now, this is it for the main story. This is it for the main game. So... Next time on Let's Play, and even Let's, Let's Playing on my channel. Uh, I guess more Twilight Princess stuff. And I'm sure I'll come out with another secondary Let's Play to keep you guys entertained. I think I've already got one in mind now that Brawl and this are going to be done. So you can look forward to that. But for now, I've been Ulti Zeta. Thank you for watching. Any of my Let's Plays, not just this one. Thank you for supporting me. My around 500 subscribers-ish. Or maybe like 30... Uh, average or 30 views per video. Like, whatever. I appreciate it. I've been doing this for... Six and a half years now. It's just... It's something to support me. And... It's just... Even if I'm not the most popular, even if not many people even care about this kind of stuff, it's important to me. It's like I'm making a record of my life, almost, in gaming increments. I, I, I have a lot of memories of my Let's Plays, just in general, like, I can... I have a hard time remembering things about my life sometimes, like, I remember memories less as, like, how I actually experience them, more just like, Oh, this is a fact that this happened in the past, even if I don't physically remember everything I was thinking about, I don't remember it from my point of view or experience or anything. But with my Let's Plays, that changes. That has changed for me. I'm... I remember exactly how I felt at these points in my Let's Play career of when, like, I'm playing on Mushroom Mountain Town and my... I have my legs up on the desk, and suddenly I get a cramp and fall on the floor in intense pain, and Captain's confused. I remember moments of intense sadness when Fee leaves at the end of Skyward Sword, or that just moment of like, what do I do now after six months pass and Paper Mario House and your door is over? I remember the sheer rage I felt at cutout content of Yoshi's Island DS, where I had to overdub commentary, and like, I ended up getting so mad that I accidentally bent the wire connecting my original Yeti microphone to the, US the USB wire. I remember I bent, bent that original wire that I had because I was just so enraged with the stupid pool ball level. I remember just feeling such incredulity when Sonic just goes completely haywire on that first loop in Emerald Coast in Sonic Adventure DX. And just the sheer the stupidity of when my game crashes in the middle of my first experience with Big the Cat. I, re I remember just the time, random moments that happen better because of associating them with my Let's Plays. Like when in the middle of a Spyro 2 episode, I get interrupted because my brother wants to use... is looking for the lost TV remote, and everyone is and, and he, for some reason, assumed that I had it, and I was in the middle of the Cowlick episode. 
I remember getting yelled at in the middle of, uh, I think, a later Cave Story episode because I just freaking got so loud at, at the final boss. I remember getting interrupted about jelly beans in the middle of a Yoshi's Island DS episode with Captain. Getting, I remember getting so em emo emotionally wacky and physically ill in the middle of Super Mario 64 Versus when I was playing with Tor. And that was when the punch the goom in the wall thing, when I was just getting all loopy and crazy. And then I remember distinctly that I just ended up throwing up at the end of that episode because I was like, I'm dead. I'm dead. The world is dead to me. I remember in the middle of Spyro A Hero's Tale was when I ended up... I, I told the story of how I got hospitalized from drinking a slightly contaminated smoothie that had been slightly contaminated with peanut butter at the, when I was at college orientation. I'm co at college now. I remember Kirby 64 trying to record that at the only, that was the only Let's Play I ever actually recorded at my old dorm room that I ended up sharing with my old roommate, which I never want to talk about again. That was a horrible experience in my life, and I, it was awful. Uh, it's things like that. That just like uh, it's it's why I let's play, especially why I let's play. It's cause you preserve those moments of just like, wow, I did not see that coming. I did not know to expect this, and that's special. To me. So thank you, thank you for watching. But for now, I'm signing out. See you guys in the next.